All right, what's up? Good morning, everyone. If you guys saw yesterday's video, uh, you would know that we got a storage unit out in Maple Shade, New Jersey. Uh, we paid $60 for the unit, and we got a bunch of decent stuff, 10 to 15 good items, a ton of okay items, and then a ton of trash. So we didn't go through everything. We were rushing to kind of try and get everything back home before it got too late. So here we are in the backyard. I actually just edited all of the footage from yesterday, so that should be coming out uh, tonight, which will be last night for you guys, I believe. But here we are, I'm just going to get right into it and crack open this trailer and just start pulling uh, items off and showing everything that we got. A lot of it's going to be repetition if you saw yesterday's video because we did show most of the good stuff. But there could be hidden gems in here. Um, I'll just give you a quick mini tour of the trailer. So as you can see right on the top there, there's a nice Schwinn bike. That pays for the unit for sure. And then, you know, it's just a lot of different items. I can't even begin to start. But crack this open here get that off of there and then here's the system I'm going to use first and foremost anything that's small and eBay good or even big I'm going to put on the table and below the table and then flea market items are going to go on this area here to be sorted and put in the shed or taken to the flea market actually probably Sunday we're gonna do a load and then this is gonna be the trash pile right here I might get a couple more cans fill all that up and then that'll go to the dump at some point so let's just get into this so first as you guys already just saw we got a Schwinn Varsity Cruiser bike. Oh, it's in there good. It's actually a good thing. So, Cruiser uh, speed bike, not Cruiser. That's going into the bike area over there to be sold on Facebook, I guess. All right, we got this little thing. I don't think I showed that yesterday. It's a vintage little cake batter stirrer or for like mashed potatoes. It says A and J, made in the USA. So that's an old one. And then we got something like this where I just scanned the barcode on eBay. It might be a better Amazon uh, sell, obviously, probably. But a lot of people, maybe two or three people have it posted for like seven bucks, but there's no sold listings at all because this book is from 1991. I'm assuming that the practices have changed so much that uh, this would be just recycling, and I, I think. Which is kind of sad. And then there's like this big book here. Newspapers from, wow, kind of cool how the, the ads looked so much different. There's some funny pages from 1995. That's kind of cool, actually. We got this piece, I showed this yesterday. This is like a vintage Sears. Lawnmower. Uh. Sadly, this will probably be an item that ends up trash. I mean, scrap. I've had these before. Had a really hard time selling them. I'm going to post it for sale. But this isn't something I would even take to the flea market because I'd have to just haul it back home. And that would just be not fun. I will post it, though. So I don't believe that we cracked open this box for film. We got an old General Electric 
radio. Like bedside radio, I guess. Doesn't look very good. But. UPS cup. This box I'll do flea market. It's just like, but I'm sure a lot of it's gonna end up trash or donations. This is kind of neat. So it's a receipt book from a company called Joe's Photos Photography from Penn Socket, where basically he could write an estimate or something for you or write you a receipt. That's kind of cool. Yo. I got her. Who? I mean, I, I tricked her. I got out before she could get come out here. Real, real. She bad. She's so bad. You want to get some stuff out of here? Mm-hmm. For fun? This is your style. What do we got here? Do you want to help me get that out? The big dog? This thing? So I can take pictures of it. Whew, my back hurts. Yeah, well. It's all part of the job description. Grocery shopping is no joke. When you got to do like the heavy grocery shopping. With all the cat litters and the cat foods. Get that, get that table, moms. Where are my gloves at? Did you got we, any extras out here? Did we eat all the uh, coffee? Did we drink all the coffee? I bought more. Did you see Mr. Quo? Quo, Quo, I saw him. All right, we got a coffee table, which is actually kind of cool. It's like a boating style, I would call it. The hinges alone are cool, and this little plaque actually not in the worst shape like I thought it was. Yesterday I thought it was real bad. I've wondered this guy's wearing in this. It's just a Carhartt hat. Is it a Carhartt hat? Looks like it. Are you sure? It looks like it, dude. I mean, it's it up on his head like the one I'm wearing now. Right? Like it's popping up on his head. Mm -hmm. Look, this guy's style from 95. Style. Look the same as the style I got going. 2020. <laughs> Same life. Medical shoesies in here somewhere. Let me get them. Medical shoesies? Yeah, I saw them. For what? To put on my shoes. You don't need them. Upgrading and repairing PCs. These are the kind of books that might be sellable. This is uh, flea market box. All right. So that goes on that table. Check this out. There's a little mask in there for you too. You want to wear it? Hell no. <laughs> no, I was thinking like maybe we should just park, park the trailer, sort it a little, but then like just keep it in here for the flea market. You know? Can you put this on my shoe? The fact that we out here no gloves, or at least me. Got this I'm jock. touching the jock. Got this jock out. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Wait a second. It. Where'd you get this from? How much do you think this would go for on eBay? Free. What we got here? I'll keep that life. Officer training school. Little shorts. Do Those you are literally. Oh. Uh, do you hear that? Gym shorts. Here, you want them? Nope. They're, nope. How about this little dreamer? Officer training school. Let me see the t-shirt. Let me see the t-shirts. The t-shirts keep life. I don't. I just don't know if I can get certain stains out, like oil. Hundred percent cotton, made in the United States. That good. Single that stitch. Out. That's a good shirt. That's a little ten dollar guy at least. Here, there's another pair of shorts. You want them? Do they have an oil stain on them? Like, These ones elastic's not as bad. That ain't oil, girl. That ain't oil. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you throwing these in my face like that? Yeah, this is your style. That. Oh, uh. <laughs> That's dreamers. Stop pulling them out like that. With the dust. What you mean? I'm trying what to get the good mean? stuff. Look at this little light. Wait, these are super cute. Yeah, they're great. That's real vintage. 
You guys oh, that's your true. Oh, that's true vintage. For real. Look at this. These are like those short shorts the guys used to wear back in the day day. That would come up here and they could show off their thighs. Yeah, at officer training school. At all. <laughs> they made them wear these shorts. I want Java. Data dog. This guy loved computers. Yo! Yes. Yo! Yes. The claim though! Find more. This is a good one! Tropics Togs, medium. Yo! Stain life, but wow! I can get it out though, maybe. You should definitely try. What? Is that crust on it? It's just the way that the print like aged over time. That's a fire shirt. It's that one. This is an army shirt. Another officer training t-shirt. Washed, keep life. This is super Red t-shirt. The old, the old country. country. Bush Gardens. Dude, these shirts are so old. That's unseemable. <laughs> what is this? I'd say it's some kind of tie-dye, but nah, those are stains. Socks in there. Oh boy. Gnarly in this one. This this box was a heavy yeah, hitter. Right Come up here. Come on. Come on, Anders. See, this is the kind of stuff I was looking for. Stuff that he just didn't even know was in there. What is that? Oh. Sou souvenir coin. I don't know. It's a broken at the top. That's trash. Open that trash bag for me, please. Ooh, it smells like... Look at this. Oh, I got the lip stuff on my shirt. F. McLintock Salon and Dining Hall. Little beer, uh, mug. Rutgers University? That's gotta be it. Maybe trash, but wow, it's cool. Let me see the stain. But some of these are ruined like that. <laughs> Alright, so we have the Lotus Symphony. I think I showed it yesterday. Uh, how to getting started. This little book. This is the 1990 version. Reference book. I don't know what that is. Big reference book. And then all the discs, which including... The floppies, five floppy disks, and then it looks like ten. I gotta get into this and a little better. Hold on, let me put it on here. And then it looks like all these disks, which setup disk, disk two, disk three, disk four, five, six, and then it goes setup disk, disk two, disk three, disk four. I don't know if it's two of the two sets of discs or what, but I'm going to eBay this item. All right, I'm just bagging up this stuff for, like, donations. But, wow, what is this shirt? This is why the storage units are so cool. Because this shirt is so old. I mean, not so old. I keep saying that, but it's so vintage. And, like, never seen anything like this at a thrift store. Stained pretty badly, but... Cool. Okay, so bottom line, what we need to do really is be unloading the truck because we're going to need to use the truck later. And the trailer has mostly trash left, although I haven't gone deep. Um, we're going to be backing this up next to that black trailer in between there and the tree. And then I'm going to pull the truck back over here and then unload the truck and show you guys everything in there. All right, we got the trailer where we want it to be for now. I don't think we went through this specific box, but we got a nasty pillow. That's trash. Hmm. Booklet and tells everything about it. So that's pretty cool. Bunch of records. Any tape measure. 
I use those all the time. What's this thing? I know that brand, Star It, can be decent. Little eBay piece right there, maybe. Didn't see that yesterday. Whole bunch of homemade cassette tapes. Would be interesting to see what's on them, but that's not gonna happen. Ziggy. Ziggy life. Ziggy. It's kind of cool. All right. So we have these speakers. Vintage speakers, old school. I'm gonna check these out. Those books are kind of cool. But we didn't even go in this one. Watch your dust. What the heck is this? This is like a slide for like a teaching. More tapes. Tape case. And then we got I don't even know what this is. It's uh Labda Electronics Corp. Model LMC ten. It's all taped and stuff in the back though, I don't know. Oh my mold. Alright, she's got a whole bunch of slides. And looking at the guy's stuff, who knows, this could be some really interesting slides. There's a cat right there, so that's cool. What else we got? Some guy with a camera. Got to, you'd have to go through each one of these, make sure there wasn't any like, that's like a college class, kind of like a school trip looking on that one. Make sure there wasn't any like UFO slides in here from the looks of some of the other stuff this guy had. But I do think that slides can sell if you post them the right way. Okay, some of this stuff that I just came across Extremely interesting looking. So I'm gonna try and put my put it right here so you guys can see it as I'm going through it, but I don't know what was in here. But this book is getting real interesting. So there's like a paper record, like vinyl, of Evelyn Wood. Introduction to reading dynamics. We have a postcard of a spacecraft taking off, and that is from Kennedy Space Center from 1970. The Veal Nebula. This is from like a magazine. Globular Cluster M13 in Hercules. And then we have James Irwin, David Scott, Apollo 15. Newspaper clippings of kind of space related stuff of mice and men quiz and then reading dynamics in this book but I would say this book definitely cool and then what's in here is what I was going to get to next because that was in there could be something and get your hopes up and there's nothing. And nothing. And nothing. And that's bagel baking instructions. So, I don't know. But here's some photographs. Spock. Just some random photos of people that... I have no idea who they are. So Spock would be the only one that would be... The rest of this is probably trash, sadly. 
This is a computer program. IBM PC compatibilities. I don't know. And then the Rutgers 79 yearbook. Alright, so something I didn't think was of great value. I'm just now looking up. And it's not in good shape, really. But I'm starting to realize that it might be worth a lot more than I first thought. Um, it's a Technics Panasonic receiver right here. It's really heavy. But... I just was like, okay, I'm going to check this on eBay before I do anything rash. And it's looking like the same exact one sold on the 3rd, so they don't sell that often. Sold on the 3rd of this month for $380 and $70 in shipping. And another one sold on December 27th for $579 and they paid $50 for shipping. So this is definitely an eBay item. I'm gonna bring this inside and oh, I'm gonna clean it off actually and bring it in. But wow, gotta check your stuff. Cause back in the day I never used to check all this stuff and I was probably losing a lot of money. But you learn as you go. All right, we have this Remington typewriter. It's a pretty cool one doubt that it's worth a lot though and then these two I checked the model and everything on eBay it looks like they sell for like $29 that's pretty much the price I saw one was like $41 but anything listed above that just was a no sale so maybe even sell them together for like 45 that would be cool I don't know Probably someone wouldn't want to, though, so I might have to list them separately. All right, we have a box of records and CDs. That's empty, as well as tapes. Here's your Q-tips. That's trash, too. Oh, wait. That might be like a little... But yeah! That's a pin to a... Um, Record player. Oh, Might even good. go to the one that we have. That was a cool, good place to put it. So, Nancy Griffith. What do we got in here? Beethoven. The Beatles. That's a claim right there. That could probably sell on eBay, these two. Just because they're so cool looking. Oh! Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah, they are. If, until I got to them. Are those good records or no? I, I don't know. A Christmas record? Definitely not. Mozart? I don't think yeah. so. You think? I like Mozart. There's like some Beatle records in here. You could listen to it. Can we build speakers anymore? Yeah, we just got some more speakers. What? From like 1920. These records are uh, not the greatest, I don't think. What is this? This is like a binoculars. Like a monocular. Like a monocular, and it has a night vision, dude, I think. Is that what that is? Because like, the, oh, it's a scope maybe. That could be worth something. This is actually a really cool Christmas tree thing. So maybe we should just put that in the shed. Or t we can take it out and show it, but it's freaking cool. Here's a lab coat. <laughs> These are yours, right? No, those ones are for men, but I can... What's that patch on the bottom? It's a re... They're old Reeboks, dude. Oh, but it's, this is the one you wanted? I'm just that was the San Fran. So resell them. Does it have a VW on it? Oh, no, it doesn't. It has the, uh... What is that thing? The train? Train? Train car? 
Here's some more sloppy joes for you. I know how you like them extra sloppy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lady, you're scaring us. Actually, you know what? I used to eat sloppy joes when I was a kid and I used to love them. Use that sauce. I don't even know what, what it is, honestly. Just like ground. All right, Hill Street Blues. What do we got? Neil Diamond, remember me. We got, what is this? Ride the train, Alabama. We got village people, Key West. This is where you can find the serious gold. So, James Galway. Keep it going. We got these leather boots. Double H brand. Quality jump boots. These are nice. Rule two, we have the operations manual and booklet and all this stuff for the one receiver that was actually worth a lot. So these are the two books and then there's another one inside already. So we got those two and then this. That's rare you get all that with it. The fact that this guy might just have the War of the Worlds on vinyl is just so amazing. Wow. It's pretty cool. And there's a bunch of Moody Blues albums in here that might be worth posting as a lot on eBay or something. That's cool though. Alright, getting down to the end of it here. See, it's just kind of a, a bummer because probably the books are going to end up I don't know, recycled because I don't really do books well. Maybe I'll do a little searching around, but but okay. So today we were supposed to we were gonna go out to like uh, check out some liquidation stuff, and I guess the guy isn't ready for us to come. So I guess we're not gonna do that today. That was the other plan, but maybe it's a little better that we're not gonna do that because now I can just unload everything out of here oh man sorry about the angle and everything I can just unload everything out of the truck and then reload all the trash and then tomorrow morning we can take it to the dump <clears throat> it'll be too late today to make it it's cold out though but yeah so that's the plan I still got a lot of work to do basically is what I'm saying in the yard here all right I was interested to open this up yesterday Check it out because it is cool. That is just such a small TV. Like, so small. I think maybe someone would want this. Just because, like I'm saying, it's just so small. Like, I could hold this in one hand, which is rare for a TV like this. All right, I don't think I showed this before. Noise reduction system, NX40, deck one it says on it. These are like some heavy duty like helicopter headphones. That's what they look like to me. All right, here's the other box of clothes. That I guess I'm gonna drop box them or donate them because some of them are still good to use. Pride's Landing. Faded, but nice. Definitely some vintage dreamers in here. Even like this sweatshirt. It's vintage. 
Some of these I might try and sell out the flea again. Just throw them in the shed. All right, we're getting into the bottom of it. Let's see. Got another officer training school shirt. So we got a bunch of those. This old Hanes sweatshirt's pretty nice. And then what's this? We got this. Thousand Islands, New York. Straight vintage. It's really small though. Authentic sportswear. Forenza. That's a true vintage claim right there. Tartan Foods. Bunch of vintage tees, bunch of vintage tees. This is cool, actually. Really cool. Marathon Grand Slam. And that's it. The rest is just like socks and towels and ties. Nothing I like. All right, we got another little box here that I don't think I went through. Brand new in the pack, Fruit of the Loom. Aluminum pot. Made of honored Sears. Beaker. Old flashlight that's all ruined. The Ziggy cup, I think we showed that. Ink. This is for like lining up letters for that ink thing I just threw to write out different things. I'm pretty sure this is the box for that record needle, player needle. Alright, sorting through everything. And this is kind of what we're left with. I actually just found this Zippo. Fell out of the pocket of one of the pairs of pants. Pretty cool. This actually still has where to go. That's not it, obviously. Still has the box with it. So now I know exactly, you know, what it is. Post it with the box. That's not bad. So we have, I just found a whole bunch of brand new floppy disks. I don't know if people use these still, but I haven't really looked them up. Five packs in there. What else didn't I show? Didn't show this Christmas tree. I don't really want to bring it out, but it's like a glass ceramic Christmas tree with all these birds on it. It's like a vintage piece there. Okay, so I posted the ham radio tower. I'm going to throw in everything that goes with it. So that would include the tower, the cords, that box of cords, the aerial handbook for radio amateurs, even other stuff I'll throw in if someone actually buys it. We got the two speakers, mini TV, all that stuff that I don't know prices on. And then everything that's pretty much trash went in the truck again. So we gotta take that load tomorrow. But yeah, so it's just a job and within a job within a job, this whole thing. But I definitely think we're gonna make a, de a decent amount of money. There's a lot of items that could sell for at least $50. There's probably 10 items that sell for 50 at least. Uh, and then other stuff. But even in here, I put stuff, and in the shed. It's just so overwhelming. Definitely need to get a bigger space to store items. Or just go through them faster. Moving them over is really important. So getting them up online is important. Hope you guys enjoyed looking at the stuff. 
it's really interesting to see what someone has in a storage unit and it's a learning process every time i think that's all we got for today but we'll see you guys in the next one main claim throughout it all stay positive and just stay committed to what you want but stay positive keep keep your head up and just be happy because every day is truly a gift peace been recording all right so yesterday went through all the stuff that we got from the 60 dollars storage unit and started showing everything and researching it and started to realize that we did really well and we're going to make a lot of money from this unit um it was a really good one lots of trash but also lots of really good stuff here is the best item i think that we got so let's see how this works it works fine the record player has nothing to do with it. This is what we're testing. So let's see this. It's going to drop the pin in the way wrong spot. And that maybe is because... Either way, there it is. So as you can see, it works. works really well I'm gonna just turn it off for now but still running the same clip I just want to show for my own satisfaction the serial number right there AJ 8425 F053 just for clarity I'm selling on eBay so I have the footage of it working um, these sell sometimes for $500 I listed it for 350 buy it now because the last five that sold of this exact model, four out of five sold for, I should say three out of five sold for about 300, one sold for like 380, and then one sold for like 579. But considering the top's bent a little, and it has this, I'm not gonna try and get 500 for it. Just gonna see if we can make a quick sale. Uh, hopefully get 300 or more, and that would basically triple what we put into the unit just off of one item and also we sold you guys see pop up <laughs> okay so we sold flight suit and this is the navy u.s air force actually i should say not navy u.s air force flight suit and it sold to Becky Gifford. I hope this doesn't ruin any surprise or anything. But I thought this was cool because she said, my son-in-law is in the US Air Force flyer and they're doing away with the flight suits. I'll be using this for a project for my daughter. My hubby and I were both in the Air Force and I'm sorry for the man who lost his stuff. The fancy suit, referring to the other one, is called a mess dress uniform and was worn very rarely at military balls. So. She purchased it for someone in her family, which I think is really cool. So I'm going to pack this up. But looking at all the vintage electronics and military stuff, the fire helmet, and just everything that we got, uh, this was a really good unit. So I'm happy. I think it was the best unit that sold that day, to be honest. Keep pushing, everyone, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Going to the flea market tomorrow, so stay tuned. You. This is really nice. Look at this thing. <laughs> the condition of this. It is really nice. Comes with the, the suit. cleanest thing that was in the hole. Because it was inside a pocket. Yeah. That's why. It was protected. See ya. What's he doing in there? He was lying. Does he want to come out? He's headbutting his mom. Give me the headbutts. Come on. Get him. But look at this. Check this out. This was an extra dream. Or I can look. Just found these in the pocket. Oh wow. And, and I, was, on there. I was claiming it didn't have any. Well, it didn't. Now it does. These are probably worth more than I sold the whole thing for. Yep. But that's the beauty of it. Getting something cool. 
three patches that go right on there. Cool. Really good stuff actually in that storage unit. So what looks like trash could end up just being gold. Look what Rue did to my hand this morning. Ru ruined. Yeah. Rue ruined. Rue hand. My hand. Rue. Rue hand. Yeah. My hand. <laughs>